Today we're talking with nature artist, naturalist, and national public radio commentator, Julie Zikafus. Welcome, Julie. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, you have been creating art sort of out in the woods and on your 80 acres of yes. land. Mm -hmm. How did you get interested in creating art and writing? Um, well, I, I like to give the credit to my father, who passed away in 1994. He was a natural storyteller and a wonderful writer, although he didn't write for a living. He, he, he wrote the occasional letter to the editor. Mm -hmm. But, um, but he, it was his storytelling that, that really, I think, in, infused me with the desire to tell my own stories. He was also a country boy. He was raised on a farm in Iowa. And he could tell me any number of things that I wondered about, like whether an owl has a gizzard or what a shrike's nest looks like and doesn't things like owl that. Have <laughs> no, it actually doesn't because being a meat eater, it doesn't need to grind anything up, so it doesn't have a gizzard. But he had cut owls open to find out the answer to that question, so he was an unusual man. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell us about your book, and we have it here, Letters from Eden. But first I want to read this quote from Scott Widensall, author of Return to Wild America, and I quote, there's joy in this book and humor and a great deal of wisdom not treacly, the sort that usually sprouts from nature writing, but the clear-eyed wisdom of a woman who knows the land in all its moods, hard and soft by turns, who cherishes the spring song of a bluebird, as well as the sting of a copperhead's venom in her finger. He also writes that he is not sure what is more fluid, your writing or the swirl of your watercolors on the pages. <laughs> Tell us about Letters from Eden. Letters from Eden is a labor of, of love. It's, um, it's about eight years worth of essays and illustrated with probably uh, 150 or more paintings and drawings. And so the concept that I had for this book and the designer at Houghton Mif Mifflin took the idea and just ran with it, was to make an art book that was also readable. And so we've presented things in a nice hardcover format and the, it's very liberally illustrated with paintings. But the essays are cogent and they hold together and so it's kind of a nice package and it's, when I was a child growing up, the books that moved me the most were written and illustrated by the same person. And I sought those out, mm -hmm. even from a very early age. And, uh, and that I think is, is what I'm trying to do here is create a, a coherent artistic vision both in the art and the writing, marry those very mm -hmm. happily. 